guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and I have a collective haul to share with you today. I think it's been a while since I've posted a haul. So um, this has probably been for the last month or so that I have collected. So without further ado, I'll get started. Recently, um, just uh, last week, Maya actually had 10% off all of their makeup. There were just a few exclusions. So I had to take the opportunity and run out and get myself some savings on some products that you know while we do pay more in Australia they're right there you can swatch and talk to the sales consultant and um, you know get a 10% discount so I thought that was well worth it I've been eyeing off this lip gloss set from Benefit but it has six mini lip gloss shades they're absolutely beautiful starting with so frisk me it's got nudity spiked punch life on the a-list kiss you and foxy lady absolutely beautiful and i got 10 percent off that which was fantastic i also got benefits newest uh face highlighter i do have high beam it's quite a cool highlighter they do also have one called moonbeam which is less of a cool you know really frosty cool pink more of a gold this has a little smudger on one end for blending and it's a cream to powder um highlighter stick here you just twist up the product and I'll just show it to you on my hand. You can kind of see the, the highlight on my hand. And then the idea is that you use the little sponge to blend it out. I'd probably just use my fingertips, but they sort of recommend that you just sort of use that sponge to pat it out. But you can see it's not quite as cool as the uh, high beam if you're familiar with what that looks like. So I'm really you know, looking forward to giving that a try. Now, they had a gift with purchase at Benefit on the day. That may have just been a special of the day. All the counters seem to be going crazy, and I don't mean to be non-appreciative, but 10% off is not a huge savings, but it was like a bonanza. Everyone was going crazy. All of the counters were sort of trying to clear their, you know, holiday gift sets. Oh, you don't have to get a fragrance with it. You know, the Lancome counter, which all of their gift sets as well are um, purchased with a fragrance purchase, and... They were all making sure to, you know, let you know they were throwing th free stuff in and it was a 10% off bonanza. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, anyway, so Benefit did have some free gifts with these two items that I purchased. First one was a free full-size lip gloss. Uh, this is in Who Are You Wearing? And that is what the colour looks like there. Going on, moving on. So another item that I purchased at Maya with a 10% off discount was from the Guerlain counter. And it's a product that I've been eyeing off for ages. It's their iconic Meteorites Pearls. This is in the color O2 Taint Beige. I think traditionally the Meteorites Pearls used to come in a cardboard packaging, but this is a lovely sort of um, metallic feel product. And um, they do have these available in the little pressed powder compact form now. It does come with a little sponge that is not for application, but more just to hold the pearls down so that they don't get crushed and smashed during transportation. They need the room in the counter though. If they filled it up to the top, the balls would be flying everywhere. And you just need the softest touch. I will say, oh, when you open it, it's just a luxurious floral fragrance. Um, and it's multicolored pearls there. Um, with a beige sort of ever so slight shimmer. It's a finishing powder. It does not have any coverage It certainly should not be used as a blush, but it's just to give you a lovely finished Flawless type finish as a finishing powder without any coverage So one of the things you do need to be careful of as you swish your brush is not to actually get too much product on the brush and Also not to have the balls flying all around your bathroom because they are a little bit precious But I'm really excited to have my very first Guerlain Meteorites balls If you have any and have any suggestions about technique how to use it any tips anything like that Definitely comment down below. I'd love to hear from you Also, I visited the Laura Mercier counter and they ended up having some free gifts as well so I actually purchased their beautiful travel brush gift set and I love the packaging of this the outer box you can see it's got that faux um, sort of snake skin finish and that represents what the makeup bag looks like so this is a beautifully quality a beautiful quality feels like you know like a leather finish it definitely doesn't obviously feel like plastic even though it probably is um, it's 
not only are there sort of snake skin print but also embossed so it's textured and this makeup bag has a little Laura Mercier zip pull. You open it up and I love this bag in itself. It's got a little pocket on each side, nice brown sort of silky lining and then a little mesh bag that connects magnetically and um, you can obviously take that out and use it on its own or add it in there. This could be used as an evening, you know, as a clutch, which I love, or just as a makeup bag. And I love just the versatility of that. Love, 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 love the bag. But just so you show you the brushes that come in this kit. Um, I don't have any Laura Mercier brushes, so I was really excited to get this. The brushes that are included in the set here, first of all, you've got the large face brush. This is their finishing brush, like a MAC 187, duo fiber, extremely soft, absolutely beautiful. Next brush is, um, we've got a ponytail brush, so a gorgeous, fluffy, tapered ended, beautiful sort of crease brush, and then the all over, eye color brush for um, you know patting on uh, color you could even blend out eyeliners with that next brush we have is their flat eyeliner brush that would be perfect for applying you know cake eyeliner or any kind of um, you know eyeshadow to the as a liner also a tiny little smudger here a camouflage powder so good for concealer and then a secret camouflage, so for more precision sort of concealer application there. And then the last brush that's included in that set is a little spoolie, a brow grooming spoolie, and a brow definer. And I've been eyeing off one I've seen in a lot of people's favorites, a duo ended brush just like this from Anastasia. For brows, really handy to obviously apply your, um, whatever you're using to fill in your brows and then use the eyebrow spoolie. The second item that I purchased was the Secret Brightening um, Powder and I got that in the number two. Just wanted to see what that was like for setting concealer under the eyes. And then they had a couple of free gifts with that purchase from the Laura Mercier counter. And the couple of items that they threw in as freebies with that purchase was a full size lip glaze. This apparently is one of their most popular colors. This is the color Bellini. And you can see it's just a beautiful sort of glittery, peachy looking lip color. Absolutely gorgeous. And also their little eyelash curler. And I've used this already and I'm really excited. I really like this eyelash curler. Another purchase that I've made from Chanel recently is their, I don't even know how to say it, their Stylo Yo waterproof pencil. Um, I know Miss Hannah G, I think, and Lisa Lisa D1, I think these ladies have spoken about this eyeliner, but it's a beautiful um, waterproof black eyeliner and it's not the very blackest eyeliner I've ever had. It does last a moderate time in my waterline. It doesn't last all day for me, unfortunately, but it's a lovely liner and I just wanted to give that a try and see how that would go. Um, and then lastly from Maya with the 10% off sale, I stopped by the Estee Lauder counter as well. And a couple of items that caught my eye that day were the Double Wear Maximum Cover. That I'm a huge fan of the Double Wear Foundation. It is, I would say it is my favorite foundation of all time. And I also really like the Double Wear Light. This is another one of the Double Wear Collection, the Maximum Cover. It's SPF 15 and it is actually a 30 mil size, just like a foundation foundation but you can actually use this as a as a uh, concealer so I was talking to the lady at the Estee Lauder counter telling her I wasn't really happy with the double wear stay in place concealer under my eyes it's not very brightening and I don't feel like it stays all day under my eyes which was what I was looking for in a concealer and um, she said to definitely give this a try so she recommended the shade medium deep and I'm looking forward to giving that a try Another product from Estee Lauder is their Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Pencil. And I chose a um, the color Mocha or Mocha, <laughs> Tomato Tomato. And um, 
they do I do have the color spice from a gift set and I really like that this mocha is really pretty it's like a bronzy rose type color there under the black eyeliner you can see it absolutely gorgeous and then with that purchase from Estee Lauder they were also giving away a free little gift set and that may have just been on the day it may have been old stock they were trying to clear I'm really not sure but included in that kit was a time zone SPF 15 line and wrinkle reducing cream we have a lip pure lip color in the color beige also a, another sample of the sumptuous bold volume lifting mascara so a cleanser, soft, clean, moisture rich, foaming cleanser for dry skin, which I don't have. And an Estee Lauder, a little mini time zone anti-line wrinkle eye cream, which I have not used. And I'm, I'm definitely lining up another uh, eye cream. I'm almost out of my Clinique All About Eyes. Also a little mini size of the Double Wear uh, Stay In Place Lip Pencil in Spice, which I do already have, but I use this one quite a lot. I'll just... Um, pop it on my hand so you can compare it there that is the spice and then that's the mocha um, above it so you know can't beat that another little free gift from Estee Lauder that is it from Maya with their recent 10% off sale looking forward to what is actually going to be still around and on clearance after Christmas now if you can wait till after Christmas if you're looking at any gift sets and hopefully they'll still be in stock but you can obviously get some really great savings after Christmas uh, I met up with one of my viewers Shaz Scrap she lives in Perth and we've been talking about dupes for certain lip colors that she put to me and I met up with her and um, had lunch and it was really lovely to meet her hello Shaz and Shaz was kind enough to bring me some items that she thought I'd like she picked them up from uh, chemist warehouse and they're absolutely gorgeous the first thing she got me was uh, the Rimmel soft coal Kajal eye pencil which I have a couple of but this is in the color Chianti and it's like their plum version I have the um, black and the white that's it there Chianti so it's like a lovely sort of plummy eyeliner beautiful smudgeable they're really nice if you're looking for an affordable drugstore um, sort of smudgy eyeliner those Rimmel Kajals are great she also got me a long wear L'Oreal what's this called endless kissable lipstick and this is in the color um, or the shade 840 and this is one of those that you you know just put on like a lipstick that's it there it's a lovely neutral color um, that you would put on in the morning and you don't really have to worry about looking at until after your lunch so the only time you'd really necessarily want to touch that up and make sure that it's still looking great would be after food but it's definitely long wearing and really nice and then another product that she gave me thank you Sharon um, was from Sally Hansen it's one that I haven't seen in the drugstore before their natural shine lip gloss and this is in the color sweet nectar and it's absolutely beautiful even just on its own it's got a lovely brush applicator and it's definitely got some you know opaque color to it um, beautiful peachy pink color there with that gloss thank you Shaz for being so generous to bring those colors it was a pleasure to meet you and really lovely to have lunch and uh, you certainly didn't have to do that but I have been really enjoying those products so guys also wanted to share with you some of the items that I've picked up from Priceline recently I've been looking for a larger barrel curling wand just for really casual more of a wave than a curl and um, I picked up the Vidal Sassoon what's this called studio tools instant heat ceramic curler this is the 38 millimeter barrel or the one and a half inch for anyone who's not on the metric measurements and it has 25 heat settings ceramic technology which obviously helps um, give you more even heat distribution which should result in less heat damage and a nice swivel cord they're all the things basically that I look for as well as a cool touch at the end because when I do curl I do hold the um, you know other end of the curling wand so um, I have used that and it was really nice really subtle it certainly doesn't give you a curl but more just a, a wave I have dead straight hair basically and um, so it's nice just to have a bit of a, a wave especially second and third day I have also purchased some coconut oil. This is extra virgin coconut oil. I picked it up from a, you know, a natural health food store and um this has a lot of benefits for your skin and your hair and I've seen a few videos on YouTube about this so I'll, I need to refresh my memory but you can obviously eat it use it as a spread cook with it those kinds of things but I have seen people use this um, in their hair and 
part of their skin routine. I'm looking at using this more for my hair and I don't want to eat it. So if you have any suggestions about coconut oil, how you've used it for your hair, uh, definitely comment down below. I'd really love to hear about it. A couple other products from Priceline. They had a deal going with their Savvy um, products and uh, recently I have discovered the Savvy Luxury Liners and they're beautiful creamy liners that I would say I would compare with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. One of the big differences being that there is a um, more limited color selection from Savvy. But I filled my collection, I think they have six colors available, a bronze, a blue, a black, green, purple and gold. And so I got the black, the navy and the bronze. I'll just swatch those for you really quickly. Um, I love the creaminess of these pencils. They have, you know, moderate, they last for a moderate amount of time. Again, similar to the Urban Decay 24-7s, I would say they don't last any less than those pencils do. Um, but I would take one for touch-ups. There are the three colours there. Absolutely beautiful liners. I would thoroughly recommend those if you're in Australia and looking for a drugstore eyeliner that's creamy. Also picked up a pair of nail scissors. I got those actually for eyebrow grooming. This, the old set I've been using just is not cutting it anymore. And also a Schwarzkopf Live Color. This is in the color Mahogany and it's supposed to last for eight washes. So um, just the color that I did recently in my hair a while ago, you can see it's just sort of fading in the ends where the color has been highlighted. So I just wanted to warm that up a little bit with a bit of a red um, in the meantime before I can get to a hairdresser. And then from a local neighborhood pharmacy, I've purchased a few more products from uh, designer brands. The first one here is their Lash Food. And this is um, a growth serum that's supposed to produce longer, thicker, stronger lashes. I was going to come on here today and show you this Lash Food and tell you not to bother. Um, I've been using it for probably about three weeks. Just has a little brush on the end there. I've been using it every night as part of my skincare routine. Ever since I got lash extensions, I feel like um, my lashes could do with a bit more length and volume. And I'm not sure if it's because they're lacking in length and volume compared with what they were like before I got the extensions or the extensions have gotten me used to you know, more volume and length. But anyway, I've been using it for about three weeks and have not seen any difference in my lashes. I purchased this for about less than $10, so it gets points for good value, but value is only if uh, the product actually works. Now, now that I've read the back of the box again to show you this video, it does say that uh, Lash Food helps your lashes appear up to 25% darker, stronger, thicker and longer in just four to six weeks. So the product claim is that you should notice the difference in four to six weeks. I'll give it another couple of weeks and um, you know let you know if it's a big loser or a big winner, if it's worth mentioning. Another couple of lip colors from designer brands. First one here, lipstick in rose gold. Really pretty um, subtle type rose color bit of a frost to it and then also one in lilac mauve lilac mauve is a little bit lighter and you can see there a frosty light pink underneath beautiful a couple of lip glosses as well i think it's called the nude glow naked glow nude glow i think that i've really been loving the last few weeks with the designer brands milk chocolate lipstick so that's what's made me want to go out and see you know a few more of their colors i got another couple of lip glosses like the nude glow this one here is in fairy floss it's more of a sort of bubblegum pink you can see it there that swatch there and the second one more of a nude color and this is in baby pink and baby pink is much more of a milky uh, color it reminds me of max underage and you can see it there we definitely lighten um, or you know if you had an intense lip color on your lips it would definitely help to lighten that because it does have some pigmentation uh, and then lastly, another um, local neighborhood pharmacy sells the brand Satin. Satin is a makeup brand that's made in Australia. It's very inexpensive, kind of like, I guess, uh, America's Wet n Wild or Jordana, something like that. So most products would be less than $5, I would say. I picked up three of their lip pencils and uh, really like the colors of these. I got this one in Rosewood. Rosewood is just a beautiful, cool, kind of purply pink. I also picked up one in Chianti, 
not to be confused with the Rimmel Chianti Kajal pencil I just showed you. Chianti is more of a plum, a red toned plum. And then this one reminded me, this is actually an eyebrow pencil in the colour Blonde. This reminded me a bit of Max Stone, which I have here to swatch, but I actually use that on my lips and I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. I find that you can use that with absolutely any colour. This is the first time I've swatched it next to Stone. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit greyer. Stone has a little bit more purple in it, but a really great substitute. So if you've been looking at Max Stone, I know certainly Pixie Woo, Nikki from Pixie Woo uses Stone all the time for so many of her looks. And um, yeah, if you can find a satin in a local neighborhood pharmacy, their eyebrow pencil in blonde is a very close substitute for that. For those who are in Australia, you've probably seen the models prefer range of brushes. I'm not really impressed with that line of brushes necessarily, but I've been eyeing this one off for ages and my price line has been out of stock for literally months. I went to another price line this month and found this was the very last one left in that store, the one in, in actually Perth, and this is their MPP 120 crease brush and it's just another one of those sort of fluffy lovely crease brushes. I actually used that today. It's fairly soft, it's not the softest crease brush, but um, really nice for uh, crease and I would recommend that. I think it's around $10 from Models Prefer. And then lastly, I have some online purchases that I wanted to share with you today. Makeup by Iman has started making uh, her own makeup brushes. I think it's a small but growing collection of makeup brushes. And I picked up, you can see that I've been a bit obsessed with these crease crease brushes lately and just trying different ones. This is the Mint brush in number 20 and you can see it's just a little bit more sort of tapered compared with that models prefer brush that I just showed you definitely softer and I got two of those shipped to Australia from Canada where makeup by Iman is for less than 30 Australian dollars I really like those brushes and she does use them in her tutorials so um, you can sort of see what they look like in action there on her channel. I can provide a link for that down below. Something I'm very, very excited about and you'll certainly be seeing more about this on my channel is uh, an eBay purchase that I made and it is for the full set of 20 Revlon lip butters and these are not available in Australia as yet. I'm guesstimating, I'm thinking that they'll bring it out to Australia. They, they usually bring out Revlon products. I think Brow Fantasy I've not been able to find in Australia, but most Revlon products I think that you get in America, you do get here in Australia. Um, but I'm guessing probably another six months away and we'd probably be paying, I'm going to guess $21.95 for each of these lip butters. So I was able to get a good deal on eBay on the full set of 20 and I'll be swatching those for you in an upcoming video. I don't know if we need to hear any more on YouTube about lip butters, people that love them. It's just a creamy lipstick that's moisturizing for some people so um, I think the colors are probably quite important so I'll do some lip swatches of those 20 for anyone who's interested and then lastly I did make a cho uh, purchase from Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice she does do some makeup uh, some makeup brushes but she's definitely known for her skincare and her website had 40% off recently for the month of November and I picked up a couple of products that um, I've seen, I think I've seen a Heidi from Jalapena 2007, I think is the number here on YouTube talking about. Um, and the first item is the Paula's Choice 8% Alpha Hydroxy Acid Gel. I think you're supposed to, let's see, it gently exfoliates sun damaged skin without feeling greasy or dry. It's a lightweight gel that's supposed to improve the skin's texture and help prevent clogged pores and you're supposed to apply a small amount to clean skin um, every day I think and then follow up with moisturizer sunscreen foundation it does say when you start using it to apply you know once a day or every other day um, preferably at night probably so your skin has a chance to you know rest and do what it needs to do with that alpha hydroxy acid and then I also got the two percent beta hydroxy acid liquid and this is supposed to exfoliate the skin surface and within pores to prevent blemishes and dislodge stubborn blackheads. 
Um, it's supposed to leave your skin soft and smooth. And I think beta hydroxy acid is meant to just go deeper. Alpha hydroxy is more of something on the surface and beta goes deeper into your pores. And you're supposed to use this on a cotton pad or clean fingers to apply a dime sized amount over the entire face uh, before your moisturizer, sunscreen, foundation. Uh, it does have uh, also salicylic acid, butylene glycol. So I'll definitely look forward to sort of see how those products interact with my current skincare routine. Maybe use, you know, one every other day and the other one the other day in between that, maybe before I put on my Genifique. And then I also got a Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment. And this has got 10% alpha hydroxy acid. And I would probably use that not on a day that I'm trying one of those other products from Paula's Choice. But this is meant to um, be a liquid exfoliant to reveal more even smoother, younger looking skin practically overnight. Regular use maintains and enhances results. So they're saying to apply this only at night, at least once per week, after cleansing and toning. Um, looking forward to seeing, you know, if there's any results from that, just to keep my skin looking more even and younger. It's pores, anti-aging, and uh, even skin tone that I'm concerned about with my combination to oily skin here. So I'll keep you posted on what I think of those if it's worth mentioning. That is the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you've stuck it out and you're still here with me, I love you for it. Thank you. And um, I'm going to wish you a beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching again. We'll see you again really soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>